Hey guys, welcome back to some Freeman Guerrilla Warfare Season 9, Episode 3. And I got to play a little bit off screen. I'm having a lot of fun with this uh, this version. This might be the best version yet. Um, another thing I wanted to tell you guys too is, uh, we'll put this right in the beginning. If you go somewhere, if you hit Y, you can fast forward just like Mountain Blade when you hit Control Space. You just hit Y in this and you can move crazy quick. So you just got to watch out for the enemies, just like Mountain Blade, but uh, hit that Y, and that'll get you around the map a lot quicker, guys. So I uh, just figured that out reading through the forums, so if someone asked that question, the devs answered. They've been on the forums like crazy, so if you guys have questions, uh, definitely hop on the Steam forums and ask away. They've been really, really good. And I think you probably don't even need to ask too many questions because so many people have and they've answered them. A uh, good way to get information about the game. All right, so I, I promised you guys, I, I did a bunch of battles and I lost one, won a bunch. And uh, I got 40,000, almost 41,000. And we wanted to get the Spetsnaz. So we're going to hire one of these guys and see how good they really are see if they're worth that much that's the most expensive unit i've seen yet um yeah that that cost us quite a bit there but that's okay and then news if you're in need of troops and supplies go check out nearby villages all right and anyone in the bar oh do we have enough money to uh grab anastasia we gotta find anna anna is like a must-have um I think I read this one, Anastasia. I think we had Anastasia in the test version. And I think I've read through that. Um, can you tell me about the history of your country? We want to get our relationship up a little bit. Can you join me? She only wants 2,000, so I'm going to take that. We don't want her to form our own army yet. Get her built up a little bit. All right, so let's check out the Spesnot unit. Let's see what he, ooh, he looks awesome. I really like the uh, improved gas mask with the helmet. Let's check and see what he's, uh, what he's wearing. Yeah, he looks pretty good, pretty cool. He's a level one and he has a ton of health. Um, that navy turtleneck's pretty cool. I might have to steal that. Really good body armor, holy cow. Pretty good helmet. I have that same helmet on my guy right now. Uh, the gas mask. Looks like he's got kind of like an automatic, uh, it's an automatic sniper. We've used this in the previous versions of the game. It's not bad. Uh, grenade launcher and some grenades, of course. All right, and the proficiencies are pretty decent. He's pretty good with a shotgun, too. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is really cool. So we'll uh, level him up quite a bit. We're going to put Anastasia in there, too. And uh, let's see if we can, she's level one, so she's not going to be able to use too much. I need to get her a, I need to get her a gun so she can level up. Can she wear any armor? We might have to go buy her a gun and armor, guys. I don't have anything. I sold everything, but I want to get her leveled up. She looks good there. I like the boots and the skirt and the tank top. Looks all good. Devs are really doing a good job on the player models. They look excellent. So I can't wait to see uh, what other gear is in the game and what other units that we can uh, check out. But let's go to the marketplace. Let's go to the armor dealer. Let's get her something to protect herself a little bit. Uh, we might need to get her a... What's her armor proficiency? I should check that real quick before I start buying stuff. She's obviously going to level up and get better, but she can wear right now up to 22. So let's go into the armor and get her, she can wear that, but that thing looks so goofy. Let's get her old camo helmet. Yeah. Um, she can wear, she can wear this scout vest and then we need to get her a gun. So she has, I think, not very much marksmanship. Could get her a shotgun. Um, 
Should we get her an MP5? I don't have too much money left. I think I sold some weapons here, did I not? No, maybe not. We do need to buy some ammunition for our gun though, so I'm gonna do that. And, hmm. Let's just get her, uh, yeah, MP5, MP5 is, let's go with the MP5. Zero marksmanship, let's give her that for now. She could be a little decent up close. We'll get that money back. All right, let's go back to the party and equip her. I love this part of the game. It's awesome. Give her that. Oh, she doesn't look as good with it on, though. The hair doesn't come out the sides. She looks really butch with that. Kind of ruins it. All right. We'll give you that. Okay. She can't wear head armor because it just totally ruins it. <laughs> I mean... Looks a little goofy like that. Definitely like the hair better. All right. I know, I know. You guys are probably going to, I'm going to see some comments. Well, it's going to protect her life, but I think she just looks awesome without it. So we'll roll without it. We'll see if we can find her something maybe that looks a little bit better. The devs might add that in the future. I don't know. That might be hard to add. Put a helmet on and keep the hair without it clipping. They'd have to make maybe a ponytail or something. I don't know, the female, um, they need to add something a little there. I'm sure that wouldn't be too hard. But we'll keep on going here, especially for, for those that you play a female main character. Um, that could uh, be a difference maker there. But let's see. We could give that helmet to someone else. Let's give it to uh, this guy right here. He needs a helmet. So we'll give him the helmet. There you go. Um... But let's see, this guy is my companion right here. I put him center because uh, if you put them all the way on the left, obviously they're over here. So I'm going to put the companions in the center so you know you can see them a little bit better. But I did dress him up. I gave him uh, a sport hoodie and I gave him my old MP helmet. And uh, we'll probably have to get him a gun. Actually, he can he can rock with that. And he looks pretty badass, actually. That looks pretty good. Um, I got some of these sand, uh, or sorry, desert bandits, and they're really good, really good stats. So uh, one of the um, parties was rolling around and they had them captured, so I was able to get those guys after winning the battle, which is pretty cool. But um, I don't think there's anyone else here that we need to hire as of right now. I think we're in good shape. Uh, this is our guy right now, so I was able to get a, a better helmet, a tactical Kevlar helmet. Uh, I got some sunglasses to make him look a little bit better. A little sharper, you gotta rock some sunglasses. We got a black turtleneck that I got in a drop. Uh, the heavy tacti tactical vest that I got in a drop. And uh, I switched his pants over to green combat pants. So we'll roll with those for a little bit, we could switch them up. They don't really give you any armor or anything or camo, but... Uh, I thought I'd uh, put him in there anyway, just to try him out, give him a little different look. We need to find a pistol too at some point, just in case, but we'll probably roll with something pretty crazy. Like a Desert Eagle or something cool. Alright, so we're looking pretty good, let's check, oh yeah, I used, oh it just switched over, so you do get 15 attempts per day. Um, so I'm going to torture and persuade. Now I can go into my party. Actually, need to rename the squad. And we'll throw him in. Oh, he looks pretty cool. Yeah. What are his proficiencies? He's a Re Cossack rebel fighter. And uh, not too bad for a level 1. Armor 40. And he comes with an AKM. This gun's really good. So, all right, let's roll around and see if we can uh, get into a fight. But so far, we've got two companions. He's up. Oh, he's got two more points. So I was going to go. Um, we're probably going to max him out on a lot of this stuff at first. 
because he's going to roll with his own army eventually. We need to get him some uh, marching speed and probably some tactics, I would say. And we'll roll with that for now. Info screen. If you guys haven't seen the info screen, I'm going to show that off right now. Might as well. Um, so we're the Free Trade, Free Trade Federation. Uh, we have 17 soldiers. Our funds, our personal assets, total armies. And you can see our companions, our generals right there in our territories. And then we only have one enemy faction, the Uman Brotherhood, and then all the, the bandits and the rebels, of course. Um, but these guys we're neutral with. We can, uh, I think we can increase relation and get some of their units. Same with some of these other ones. We might try to increase our relationship with some of these guys and see if we can try out some of their units. So uh, we're pretty neutral. I probably want to go to the Ato Federation and see if I can uh, make friends with them. So I heard you can join, you can talk to one of their army groups and possibly gain some re or some favorable relationships with them or favorable relation with them, I guess. So let's head back over here and see. Yeah, ever, a lot of these smaller groups are running from me now, not not the big groups. I guess I could press Y now. Kind of nice. Nice to know. Oh yeah, these guys are all running from me. Very cool. Ooh, a lot of ba little bandit groups over here. All right, let's see if I can... So if I walk up to this guy... We don't want to extort. Bribe. Please take... Hopefully it will increase our relationship. Oh, so you can bribe him. Um, I don't have enough money, so I need to... Okay. Let's see. Should we take on that many armor marauders? I, I don't... We're still a little weak. Still a little spongy. I think this group right here and they have four prisoners uh v f a fighters and we know those guys are pretty decent so we're gonna catch this guy and get those four guys but i'm so far i'm uh having a lot of fun with this patch i'm curious to see what you guys think if you've played it let me know but I'm uh, I'm digging it. I think it's a pretty cool game. It's really coming along quite well. We got our AK now, so we're good. We're in good shape. I fan these guys out a little bit. All right, so we have increased armor. We have 35 head armor, 45 chest. It'd be cool if you can get some leg armor, too. They might add that. They used to have that. Give you a little bit of a boost. I could see, because your guys kind of look a little top-heavy when they get some of this higher-end gear. I could see maybe I'm uh, adding some kind of uh, armored pants or something like that in the future. I was looking the wrong way. Okay, they're over here. All right, let's see if we can uh, sneak up and get a couple shots. These guys are going to be still pretty strong. You could see the uh, the enemy has a lot of accuracy in this version of the game. You can't uh, you have to take cover. Where the heck are they? Oh, right here. Oh, there's a grenade going off. Let's see if I can get in here. It's 
two left. Now let's see. B now is the button uh, to go from automatic to semi-automatic. We're gonna check out automatic. Hear that shotgun in the background, that thing sounds so awesome. Oh, one of our mountain bandits were killed. Dang, those guys are actually pretty decent. I think I just equipped some stuff on them too. These guys are just chilling, but that's okay. There's only two left. I want to see if I can, uh, oh yeah, I like it in automatic. I mean, it wouldn't be good at range, but that's pretty fun. I haven't used, uh, usually I use it in semi-auto, but, uh, it's, we might start having to use it in fully auto, at least when we're a little closer to the enemy. But um, we'll sell all this stuff because we're going to need the money. And we're going to get all these VFA fighters on our side. So yeah, I'm going to imprison all of you guys. They're, um, I think if you're rescuing them, you shouldn't have to persuade them to join. Or they should already be full. But I noticed when you rescue these guys, their compliance is zero. So you have to still kind of torture them or propaganda. Let's see what propaganda does. It's about the same. So we'll just do propaganda on, on these gals. All right, so those are pretty strong units. We're gonna throw them in there. We lose, we must've lost two units on that last battle, which is a bummer. But uh, we're looking pretty good. These units are really, really strong and uh, should uh, that should really help us win some battles? All right. Can we get anything good that we can wear? I don't think I got any upgrades, but we'll uh, we'll replenish. I need to get some grenades. They don't seem to drop as much as they used to. But either way, we're gonna head back to town. Actually, let's see if we can. Uh, we got enough money here. Let's see if we can bribe them. All right, so our relation increased to negative 20. I think we were negative 30. Yeah, we were like negative 30 or 35, so you can spend a little bit of money. We're going to have to make them like us and uh, see if we can get some of these guys, these units um, recruited. I wonder if that opens up. Oh, oops. I didn't want to attack. Hopefully they're not mad at me. Is our relation still good? Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. That reminds me, we should always save. Okay, so, all right, I got a little bit of money. I'm gonna sell some of this stuff. All right, I think we'll keep the food. We need some more inventory space too. How much is night vision? I might as well get some night vision as well while I'm here. Let's check out the gift shop. What should we get our companions? A luxury dress? We can give, uh, we, let's, let's, well, let's not go that overboard on it. Let's give who would uh let's give famous cigars over to Ivan. He looks like uh someone that would like some cigars. And should we give her a luxury dress? Maybe. Or should we just get her some flower? Let's get her a luxury dress. We can get money pretty easy in this game. Alright, let's check this out. So 
I have a gift for you. Luxury dress. Increased by eight. Okay, that's a good chunk. So now, now I can talk to her a little bit more. You see how that opened up? That's really cool. I like that. All right, so now we're really familiar. I'm, I'm sure that goes up there too. Um, I have a gift for you. You can have these famous cigars. He only went up by three, so he didn't like that as much, but that's okay. But it did open up the next dialogue tree, which is pretty cool. All right. So we got him up a little bit more. We need to get her up quite a bit. But uh, looking good there on the companions. We got two companions. Our crew is pretty hurt. We might need to rest a little bit. Um, might actually do that. Let's, uh, let's go to the mission board. Do you have the, oh, deliver important files. Let's do that. Need someone to deliver two important files. Okay, we can do that. Our village needs gather eight units of food cans and bring them back. We could probably do that too. Gives a little bit of money. I don't know if I have eight on me. I might be able to turn it in right now if I do. I have five. Shouldn't have sold all of them. All right. Well, let's go do this one. I can always, if you forget, you can always hit quests. Important files. We need to go to however you say that with an O. Ah, it's all the way over here. Okay. But the nice thing is we can hold Y. Ooh. Yep, back off. You guys can't... Well, we could probably beat those guys. But I do like that feature. That's going to save us a ton of time. And I think they have the days balanced. One of the patches, the day... It took forever to go through a whole day, but now it seems to be... I think it's about perfect. I think the day-night cycle is looking pretty good. It feels much more balanced actually a lot of the stuff feels really balanced all right we'll report in got some credits got some xp i'm digging that i think that's pretty cool like those little missions gives you something else to do. Let's see, can we take this terrace camp out yet? No, we're not quite big enough to take that out. But we're kind of getting out of early game, which is nice. We're going to fight these bandits, but I'm going to equip my night vision before I do that. What's weird is that it used to go right into there, but and then you got to see the visual, but now it just kind of goes in your inventory. We're going to take an extra mag with us. All right. I think we're in pretty good shape to fight these guys. Let's take a look at our party. Uh, we can level up one of our VFA fighters. It's getting a little expensive, 960, but I think it's worth. Um, we're going to reward you guys, get you guys up in morale. We're going to reward you guys. All right. Our sniper is level. We need to get some more snipers. I need a whole squad of those snipers. To draw these guys oh this guy's level two yeah he, his health is going to be he's going to be one of the best units that i've seen uh yet really good i'm um, excited to see what he looks like at like level 10 or 15 but uh i'm sure there there are even better units that you can find all right we'll go after these guys real quick they're going to run from us Our percentage is going up. And then uh, the next episode, we'll probably do some bigger battles and some really cool stuff. 
let's take this hill and we'll win the fight. We'll make these guys kind of charge up there. So whoever controls that, well, we're going to win the fight regardless, but it's going to help. It's still, uh, it's dusk. Yeah, I don't know if charge is taken out of the game, but it doesn't seem to do anything. He used to kind of jog. Ooh. That scared them. They have really good aim in this. You can't mess around. I don't get Oh, I don't want to get hit from the back. All right, are these guys coming? I feel like I'm uh way ahead of these guys here. We're going to crouch. We're going to take a look at the map. These guys are pretty slow here. I don't think charge does anything anymore. So we're going to just proceed with caution. There's a couple units over here. There's one to my left. So I'm going to go into uh, semi-auto here. See if I can take a couple of these guys out. I'm going to get behind this tree. Our armor is uh, not too bad now. We would have died probably pretty easily before, but... Some decent stuff now. All right, and there it is. We'll take all of that. Just finished watching episode two. Awesome. Well, I'm about to post this up, and uh, you'll get uh, episode three. All right, guys. Actually, it's about 30 minutes in, so... Definitely check out, I posted uh, two other videos. This is the third video of the day. So check out Kenshi, Ch check out, um, what's the other one? Kenshi and Gecko Kujo, Mountain Blade mod. Um, and then also Kingdoms is coming tomorrow. So definitely look, uh, look for that tomorrow, along with episode four of Freeman Guerrilla Warfare tomorrow. Uh, still doing one episode a day until uh, through the weekend. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Smash that subscribe button. Take care.